Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez. Show my... You cannot make this shit up. You honestly cannot make this up. Miami Dolphins smoke... I'm sorry. Miami Dolphins get smoked by the Buffalo Bills 31-10 to tonight at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. No one got arrested on the way to the stadium. No one got pulled over for going 90 miles per hour on the way to the stadium. But they might as well have been because the Miami Dolphins laid a freaking egg tonight. But that was all overshadowed by the fact that you cannot make this up, I tell you. Tua Tagovailoa knocked himself out. Let me repeat. Tua Tagovailoa knocked himself out. No one hit him. He was the person who initiated the hit. And he knocked himself out into a concussion again. What happened to the judo, Tua? I'm trying to not make light of this because I am not a fan of Tua Tagovailoa, but I don't want the man to get hurt. Because after him, we don't have shit. As you can see. If he cannot play, we have no chance in hell of going anywhere. So if he is expected now to be out for an extended period of time, the answer is not Skylar Thompson. You better start looking to make a trade, Chris Greer, because we need a quarterback. Let's let's call up Joe Flacco. Let's call up Teddy Bridgewater. He's coaching football at Miami Northwestern. Make a phone call. We need a quarterback because Tua's gone. Tua is gone. The last time Tua had a concussion, you didn't see him for a very long time. He went and he decided to go have some judo classes to learn how to fall. Well, this time it wasn't a fall. This time he literally put, you can't even make this up, fourth and four. Inside of Buffalo's, I think, 15-yard line, 12-yard line. He takes off to run up the middle and puts his head down into DeMar Hamlin's chest. DeMar Hamlin's standing there. He's not initiating a hit. Does Tua not know how to slide? He had a first down slide, you nincompoop. Or dive forward. But why would you initiate contact with your helmet, no less, into the chest of a defensive player? Again, DeMar Hamlin did nothing. He stood there. And Tua rams his head into Hamlin's chest. Now, you say, big deal. For most people, no big deal. For most people... They're trying to run him over, they get back up, they walk to the huddle. Not for Tua. Tua rams his head into this man's chest and is starched on the ground. You saw him, he looked like he looked two years ago. He looked frozen. Like, oh shit, what happened? And you knew right there, he is concussed. I've never seen someone give themselves a concussion i've seen people hit people into a concussion i've never seen a guy give himself one now let's talk about it at that point Tua had played like dog shit three picks one pick six another pick leads to a touchdown a third pick leads to a field goal I'm pretty sure all those picks led the points. Final score is 31-10. That's 17 of their 31 points created by Tua. Yeah, they all led the points. I couldn't even tell you who plays for Buffalo anymore because all their receivers left. Other than Josh Allen and James Cook, I don't know who's on their team. They came down here and mud stomped the Dolphins. Now, the first pick that Tua threw, you might say, oh, well, it hit the receiver right in the chest. It wasn't about that. 
Receiver wasn't ready for the ball. He wasn't even looking for it. He threw the ball so early that the receiver, when he turned, the ball hit him square in the chest and pops in the air and it's, it's intercepted. Then the, the, the second pick, he just badly overthrows the wide receiver. The third pick, he's trying to throw the ball away out of bounds, and he throws the ball in bounds. And it's a pick six to start the second half. You cannot make this shit up. I have said time and time again, I'm not a fan of Tua. He's not a good quarterback. He's completely overrated. He's the king of the swing pass, which he threw plenty of tonight. Swing pass after swing pass after swing pass after swing pass. Holy shit. Can you throw something besides a god darn swing pass? But after all of that, the Dolphins are down 31-10 with a chance to make it 31-17. Early in the third quarter still. Game's not over, even though it's probably over. And what does Tua do? He runs himself out of the game. He runs himself into a concussion. I've never seen it before. I don't think I'll ever see it again. You cannot make this up. Every Tua fan that I know on Facebook right now has had it with Tua. Because he lost this game before that. He did. I keep saying that he's not good. He's built by a, a timing offense, and when the timing is off, he's terrible. When the timing's on, he looks fantastic. He's also playing with two elite speedster wide receivers, arguably the best wide receiver in football, and Tyree Kill, who's made him matter. But think about the fact that Josh Allen, you couldn't name his wide receivers, and they won 31-10. And he only went 13 for 13 for 19 for 139, but he didn't fuck up. He didn't give the ball away three times. He didn't do that. Their first possession after the interception, Miami, the Miami Dolphins completely botched that defensive play, that, that, that defense. You could see exactly where they were go, going on, on TV at the very least. You could see exactly where they were gonna go. They were gonna go to a backside throw to James Cook, and that's exactly what they did, and he was absolutely wide open, and there's not a Dolphin player in sight. Now the question is, how long will Tua be out? My guess is the rest of the season. Yeah, because I've seen this before. I've seen this movie before. I saw when he got concussed the first time, and he said it was his back. I saw when he got his head completely wrung and was starched out frozen on the field. I don't wish that on anybody, but you have to see the absolute comedy of how this happened. It's unreal. He's not a good quarter. He's not a good football player. Like, I don't want to hear it anymore. He doesn't even know how to – the reason he don't run, he doesn't run, is because he can't even freaking slide. He can't avoid this type of situation. It's perplexing. Mike McDaniel, thoroughly outcoached today. Thoroughly. Devon Hinchin played a great game. Tyreek Hill was virtually invisible today. Jalen Waddell, rather invisible today. The best two players for the Dolphins were Devon Aitchin and John U. Smith. Everyone else relatively sucked. <clears throat> I seem to remember last week Jeff Wilson getting a bunch of carries. He didn't get the ball once. I'm a Miami Dolphins fan, and I already know what's going to happen again. We're not going anywhere. Season's over. Two games in. Season is over. There's nothing left. You don't have a quarterback. Even though I'm not a fan of his, he has the ability to do some good things. And I wanted him to do some good things. And I wanted him to win. And I wanted him to be successful. But it's hard to freaking cheer someone on who you just know isn't the guy. Because it's like you're cheering for fool's gold. 
You're cheering for a myth. You're cheering for a mirage. You're hoping and praying, but in your heart, you know it's not there. You know it. You know what you know. You know what you see. You know what the issues are. And tonight again, I'm still watching him throw swing after swing after swing after swing. This is the guy who played QB two years ago. Not hell, not two, three years ago, before Mike McDaniel got here. You thought Brian Flores was wrong, right? Nah, man. Brian Flores knew exactly what he was talking about. He knew that Tua was soft. He knew that Tua wasn't the answer. He knew that Tua wouldn't last. He wanted a real quarterback. And he got fired for it. And I don't I don't even care what Mike McDaniel's got to say, to be honest. I don't care. I do not care. Your quarterback was why this team got absolutely mauled today. And now he's gone. And now you don't have a quarterback because y'all didn't really think that we should look for a backup that might actually be someone that you could play for a season. Miami has to go find a quarterback because Skylar Thompson isn't that dude. You cut Mike White. Don't even know if he's available, but he's not that dude either. If I'm the Miami Dolphins, is Joe Flacco available? Let me see. I have to see. Is Joe Flacco available? He is. A, no, he's. God damn. He's with the Colts. Shit. Fuck. He's the backup. He's the backup for the Colts. If I'm the Dolphins, I'm calling. I'm calling the Colts. I'm calling the Colts right now. I am calling the Colts, and I am bringing that 39-year-old man here, and I guarantee you that man will win us 10 games, 10, 11 games. That guy will win us 10, 11 games. And he's 6'6", 230, so you're not worried about him getting concussed. He will concuss others. I hope Tua's okay, genuinely. I, I hope he's okay. But his football career, it's over. His football career is over. People can you want to delude yourself? This man has now suffered three major concussions in three years. He can't take the hits in football. There's something in his brain, in his head, that prevents him from taking real football hits. Don't know what it is. Maybe there's not. I, I don't know what it is. I don't I don't even want to speculate. But he has a propensity to get see his concussions are not just concussions. I believe guys get concussions every game. It's about severity of concussion. This guy doesn't get concussed. He gets knocked the fuck out like he was in a heavyweight boxing match and got hit with a left hook he did not see coming. And that's the concern, is that his concussions knock people out, knock him out for weeks and weeks and weeks. That's all I got. I'm so sick. I'm sick of seeing Tua play. I hope he's okay. I hope he gets better. I hope he's good, healthy for his family, gets healthy for his family. But I don't want to see him play football for the Dolphins anymore. I got nothing left. Let me know what you think. You think I'm crazy? I'm an asshole. I don't care. But I goddamn well know that most Dolphins fans agree with this now because this is the third time in three years. And if you're getting yourself a concussion when you put your head down to knock over a defensive back. Imagine if a running back got concussed like that every time they put their head down. They wouldn't last a week. That's why I think there's something wrong with Tua Beyond. Like he has a propensity for this. It's a problem. You need to fix it by getting another quarterback. I got nothing left. Come on now.